It's been a long road filled with challenges, but the Princeton Baseball Association finally has its new name. And just like the other nine names in this Appy League, this one comes with its own unique story. Welcome to the Princeton Whistle Pigs. It's out with the Rays and in with the Whistle Pigs. He said, what's a Whistle Pig? I said, that, that's a groundhog. General Manager Danny Shingleton said the whistle pig name just made sense, seeing as how they're already a common neighbor of Honeycutt Field. So in between the uh, softball field and the soccer field, there's a little creek that runs through there, and you see the groundhogs out there behind the vocational school. You know, there's, there's one that's running around behind there. You know, you see them everywhere, and you know, we just thought it was just a, just a different, unique name for it. So we're excited. The team's name reveal was originally scheduled for February 2nd, Groundhog Day. We were going to change it to Whistle Pig Day, which we will next year. But the name caught some licensing questions from a few other companies, including Whistle Pig Rye Whiskey. They don't want us to get into their business, which we don't want to. I mean, that's that's their own market. So now that the business end is settled, everyone is ready to play ball. This is going to be a new level of baseball because it's going to be more consistent across the league as far as age, a talent. Yeah, I'm, I'm excited. I mean, it's just, it's really going to be fun. It's, you know, we're just looking for our fans to come back through the gate. That's what we want. Yeah, Shingleton went on to add that there is a hope and an expectation that fans will be allowed back into the stadium this summer. The hope is that it will be full capacity, although there's no official word on that quite yet. But the Whistle Pigs season opener will come at home and it will be June the 3rd.